Welcome back everybody, it's Wednesday again, and yes, you know what that means. Roll the intro. What? What is this a message you're trying to send to us? Oh! I didn't see you there. So this is what we're doing today. It's all about this guy right here. I'm gonna show you how to adjust this rear derailleur. So here's some tools you're possibly gonna need to get the job done. A four millimeter Allen key, a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a Phillips head screwdriver, and depending on the bike, potentially a T25 Torx. We're gonna start from the beginning here. And if you've got a troubled derailleur, I suggest you do the same. Makes it a lot easier. I like to get this barrel adjuster about halfway in or out. Now we're going to adjust the upper limit screw, which is going to be this one here, right there. So that's going to adjust how far the chain can go that way on the cogs here. Now, look, it won't quite get up to the upper cog. So let that come back down. We're going to loosen this upper limit screw, which on this is gonna be in a counterclockwise motion, just a little bit. Push, see, goes right up. You wanna make sure this upper limit screw here is set so the derailleur won't go into the spokes, but it will let the chain jump up onto this last cog. Just like that, but not anymore. Now our upper limit screw is good. Now we're going to worry about how far the chain can come down on the cassette. Now it won't come all the way down on the cog. Now we need to loosen the lower limit screw, which is that one, that inside screw. Now loosen that. Until it jumps down. And then I like to usually give it about a quarter turn more to make sure it stops chattering. Now our lower limit screw is good. So a quick check to make sure it goes through all the gears. Just push on the derailleur, push, make sure it won't go into the spokes here, and then all the way back down. Now moving on to the B-limit screw. This is the B-limit screw here. This is going to adjust how far forwards or how far backwards the derailleur sits. There's an adjustment in derailleurs. They pivot like this. So this is going to adjust that forward or back motion. What that does is that keeps the teeth from the derailleur grinding against the teeth from the cassette while you're in this big gear range here. We're going to tighten this B-limit screw until the teeth on the derailleur do not hit the teeth on the cog. Now with that being said, you don't just want to go crazy and pull this thing way back like this so it stays off the cogs up here. Because if you do that, you're going to have chain skip down here on the small cogs. You want to find that fine line where it doesn't hit the cogs on this upper gear, but wraps as far as possible around this bottom gear here so it can catch as many teeth on that bottom cog as possible to prevent from skipping. It spins nice and smooth, they're not grinding against each other. The limit's set. You can go ahead and pull this cable taut with your hands and then tighten her down just like that. Got it shifted up. We're going to counterclockwise this, which actually tightens it. Boom, where it jumps up to that upper gear. And shift again, again, all the way, one at a time, up to the top. If you've got one that won't come down, you need to loosen your barrel adjuster, which in this case is clockwise, until it falls down. And then keep going until it goes all the way down. So now it shifts properly all the way down to that bottom here. Then go back to the top, make sure, making sure that it shifts all the way up to the top like that. It 
So that should be a quick, simple guide to sort of help you get through the process of adjusting a derailleur. The process is gonna be about the same. Sometimes the tools will change, but that should be a good step-by-step -step guide to help you adjust that derailleur. Make sure if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Mash that subscribe button, throw me a thumbs up, share it with a friend if you like the video. Oh, before I forget, make sure you tune in next week. I might have an extra special surprise for you. I ordered a whole lot of new mountain bike parts and I'm really hoping they come in. I'm joined for it. For What To Do Wednesday, I'm Addison Zawada. Make sure you tune in next week. Peace.